Ever want to build a free website that's exactly like Shopify, WordPress, and all your social media accounts combined in one place? Don't want to pay a 2% transaction fee from every sale you make? Hiring web agencies, web developers, virtual assistants, and paying excessive amounts of your own cash monthly from subscriptions is a huge waste of time and money. What if I tell you there's another way? Well, say hello to Equid, a website where you can sell physical to digital product, get paid, and ship it around the world. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to use Acquid, customize your brand, list your products the right way to make your first dollar today. This video will be separate into two parts. All right now, so we are here at Acquid um, official web page. I will link the description down below. So we have two options right here to log in if we already have an existing account or sign up if we are totally new from this website. And that is exactly what we're going to do to create a new website. So totally, we're here at um, at quid sign up button. You could either sign up with Google, Facebook, or totally start up from your name, your email address, and set up a new password. So we already log in our own Google account here at Equid. We're just waiting for it to appear, and let's see what's the next step is going to be. All right, so here is the website. After we created an account from Google account. We could uh, name this to our online store and let's see what's next and it's going to question you do you already have experience in selling so we're just getting started so let's put that what type of product will you be selling is it uh, digital products physical products we all have different categories and options but what we're going to choose is apparel shoes and accessories because we're going to sell some t-shirt and are you setting this up for someone else if yes then answer it or no if it's not so basically i'm setting this for someone i picked this option so i said yes now we're proceeding to step number four which is the last option to create your first free website it says here do you already have some website like from wordpress from wix or from Hootsuite, I will say no. I was just going to suggest a domain. We're just going to click next so we can proceed to the actual website. And they're going to present some modified plan here. If you want some plan or to upgrade from Venture Business or Unlimited, I have an affiliate uh, link down in the description. It would help me a lot if you uh, subscribe for your subscription. But now, since I'm going to give you a tutorial, an overview, what is to have an Acquid for free, we're going to create a store and it's going to proceed to a lot of options like dashboards, my sales catalog, etc. Don't worry, I'm going to give you an insight on what does those things do step by step for free. Now, after we create an account, we are going to set up a website storefront, blah, 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 but we don't really need those. So we're going to just hide those ones. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the overview and you're going to have a lot of options if you want to connect your um, Amazon, TikTok account, Google Shopping, Facebook Shop, etc, etc. So if you have a website, you can sell there and connect your website account and etc. Now branding is very much important for this matter. If you want to edit your own uh, website you could proceed to the site appearance and just edit and then it's going to show you a lot of options we have here teams and we have there a lot so we're going to have teams and we're going to choose one that fits to our match and as you can see there's a lot of categories that you could choose so maybe i'll just use this team because we're going to sell some t-shirts if you already have a domain you can set it up if you already have a store name, you can put your store and just click save. Now we can proceed to headline and cover image. So this is uh, going to be the price uh, right here. As you can see, as I'm typing, let's say plain and white, that plain and plain. And you could also um, go some cover layout if what works best for you. Let's see if what works best, maybe a full screen would be uh, much more edible appropriate for this now you could see you could choose some own image or video gradients color whatever 
it's all optional and you can go here to shop now or you can edit that call to action to buy now better now we're just going to go to uh, typography basically it's the font design the font color of your text if you don't want it to be blue then it's a one and you could perfectly edit this for example we're going to highlight this and make it yellow oh well, no 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 so basically this typography you can change the custom uh, fonts you can change some colors you could uh, customize if you want and you could also change the font size if you want to make it look bigger and you could go to the font family and customize colors etc etc now we're going to proceed to the store logo if you have a logo logo you can upload it there and scroll arrow if someone is going to scroll what it's going to look like if we disable this this is going to what it looks like if you want some scroll arrow if you enable some scroll on them now if you want to show this arrow down below you could uh, put that or if not you can disable that but i wanted to put there and you could edit the, that word to buy now and you could see some a lot of options here at our template and you could just save it and then we're going to proceed to another option for uh, your business to be branded is yes, you're going to go back and go to the top menu and you could show this to in the phone so show the first the header or show first the cover or, sh or do not show anything if they're in the phone this is go what's no. so the top menu uh, in this phone section this is actually going to talk about if a viewer clicks your online store in the phone are they going to view the header like this the phone number appears or are we going to uh, cover the is the phone number going to appear in the cover or you just not going to show it so there's a lot of options that you can customize now if you want to show your uh, social media link you could put it in the header you could put it at the uh, cover you put it or just do not show it it's totally optional if you want to add some social media link but i highly recommend it if you want to gain some tractions from your deep, from your different social media sites like tiktok instagram facebook etc if you want to show your location then go on if you want to show when your business opens and close then go on if you want to show some navigations if you want to show some nav navigations if you have a physical store and you can also put some add to cart button now i'm just going to like uh, enable those uh, one and just save it now we're done at the headline and cover image now we're going to the actual store and give them some insights on what is your store about what why are you selling and what are your options and the thumbnail size it could be this small it could be this medium it could be this large but i highly recommend it's large for this matter depending on your template and what type of um, products are you offering to your customers and actually they have some customizable size depending on your uh, image if you have a t-shirt and you have an own image or picture from it and it's size like one by one then you could customize it like this so we're not just going to go that uh, in depth for now but i can make another video so comment down below if you want some now the text alignment is just going to show how is it going to look like or justify or center or left but i would like this format for now and if you want those options to have borders like this it would be much more better but i think it's not really looking elegant or necessary for this matter now if you want this product catalog uh, catalog it's totally optional if you want to highlight the the best products in your um, e-commerce website now the product list is going to be simple if you want to show the product name show it do not show or you can show it if like this it's going to have this feature if you enable this feature if you don't want to show it it's just going to look like this if you want to show it it's going to show uh, uh, appear uh, below the product image but i think it's much more appropriate if you do not show it uh, base 
if you want to show the price then show it if you want to just uh, reveal the price based on the hover then it's much more better but i'm just going to show it so the people can understand that this is the price directly and does not need to hover uh, everything at their mouse so sku is totally optional but i highly recommend not to show it to your customers and there's an option if you want to show uh, buy now it's going to sh uh, show underneath but maybe it's much more better than just not to show it so the main product page is going to be like this if you disable that uh, image but i highly recommend if you have an image put it uh, in this uh, page because people or the buyers are going to know if what type of product are they uh, buying are they purchasing it, what color is this what variation is this so highly recommend you put the main product image to your e-commerce website at Aquin now the additional product image maybe you can show it if you want to uh, recommend some of their products and the navigation not really sure how this works but i could but you could uh, actually go into the instruction or the description how does this um, affect your uh, best uh, website and the categories is going to appear maybe under the image or over the mouse hover or something like that but i could uh, recommend that the category should be in the image so that the people or the buyers are going to know what type of categories is this is it in the beauty section is this in the t-shirt section is this in the shoe section etc etc if you're offering multiple products in one website if you're offering multiple products in one website now we're just going to save this now the customer testimonial is very important if you have an existing customer uh, you could ask them for reviews, you could ask them for feedback to improve your business if it's constructive criticism, if it's good, if your service is good, if your product is excellent, maybe you can put their insights here at this section of the customer testimonial because it's going to give you a lot of conversions if you have a new customer buyer because before a buyer even purchases a product, he or she checks the product reviews if it's good or not. So it's very uh, effective if you really put some customers and real p pictures of people and names about what they think about your costs about your website or your offerings now the company's mission is about uh, why are you selling your products the best question here is why you're selling why you're doing it and why does the customers need your product or offering so why choose us you can actually uh, edit that and change the title section if you want but you could edit this in that it's up to you now the about section is going to talk about what is your business all about and who is the store owner uh, highly it's very important to put the store owner because it's going to build uh, your customers and yourself a trust a trust and a sense of reliability and validity in terms of your website and this is very interesting if you have a location uh, actually physical location you could uh, add uh, this section and show your location here and it's very important to optimize this description because google is going to recommend this uh, page based on seo search engine optimization so put some relevant keywords at this description and put some address so people or your customers know your online website and want to go if ever want to go in your physical location it's very good and you could put some business hours and your schedules more specifically so what i like about equid is they have a lot of options and features that you can use in order to utilize your business for free the contact information is very important if you have a specific telephone number if you have an email much more recommended if you have a website address if you had some uh, additional social media that you've established from your business it's very important because this is a social media strategy and this is content marketing so it's very important to get so those attractions and convert them either to be followers or to be loyal customers from your email like email marketing and build some trust and relationship to those contact information that you have provided make sure that if someone calls into your telephone or your email you will respond as soon as possible because people or customers don't want to wait for too long and if you want to arrange the section 
you could either uh, dra drag this down or drag this up or drag this down or drag this up uh, depending on what's more important i highly recommend you consider the format and its significance or what page is mostly relevant when uh, the customers first click your product or click your link on the website this is going to appear first the heading the products the mission the vision so it's up to you it's highly optional and customizable at the same time and if you want to check out your website you can just go to this uh, tree uh, horizontal line click that and it's going to proceed to another website which is your website that we just just designed earlier and this is the contact in um, the directions the business hours the location and it's going to navigate here i think it's uh, pretty good looking good and this is how we brand our own website